Welcome back to Theopolis 2, episode 14, and let's quickly go through what I did off camera. I've added an extra row of storage drawers, and we've finally got a place for obsidian. Uh, this is not done automatic, I just manually take that out of there when I need it. Uh, we'll make that automatic at some point. And um, I've finished the upgrades of the storage drawers apart from the three new ones so every storage drawer now has maximum emerald and a void upgrade where you see that little symbol there we eventually run out of improved matter so the simple one has gone the improved one has gone and we've got in the improved transformation powder there, there's still 36,000 in there. So we shall keep this ticking over until that's gone. I'm keeping an eye on the echo shards because we're going to need those in future. And one thing I did notice uh, when I was looking ahead just now is that we need dust. The uh, cognizant dust, which is where we are heading, this cognizant dust is made and it has dust in the middle and it also has the earth water fire and air essences from mystical agriculture in the recipe and there's eight of those each so at some point i want to create the seeds and get those running and i think oh i've removed the system for crafting the the um bits and i we are only left with silver and gold that has silver in it why is that not going anywhere oh that's not set to extract I've, i moved these around so that's obviously got missed so these are, are widely not really used anymore so that should come out of there and go to the tops of there that's not used anymore so I've did some rewiring of course at the same time um, now why is they why is those not going in here quick check 40 raw silver Just get up there. Yeah, I don't think that wrenched properly, did it? Right. Did that one now work? Yeah, that's it. So jump jump wrench didn't work even though it visually appeared as though it did. So that's all that was. Um so yeah, the only the only pieces that we're now manually making are the silver and gold uh, and that's until that system there runs out of the improved dust which is in it we are still making silver and gold i believe over here and there's the gold um is that silver yes so yep silver and gold is made in the mystical agricultural section so we don't need that when eventually that runs out of the improved powder uh besides that i don't think i've make it made any um, further changes off camera um not that i can recall anyway uh, and like i was saying this dust don't get rid of it you'll need it for this recipe here so let's get cracking on what we're going to do today and that is we are going to hit up the mechanism chapter in the quest book and hopefully get down to where we're going to be making the cognizant dust so let's see how long it takes us so last episode we were making these steel casings and enderium and we should now be in a position where i believe we can make the metallurgic infuser just need four iron and that is that so we're running out of places to put things here so i'm gonna have to expand on this at some point probably move that and just expand this way And we get another one for free. Okay. Um, does that mean we can make a factory? Uh, not quite, because we, we don't make these 
basic circuits yet. We need to do this. So the next stage in the uh, quest is to make osmium. And that's made from gold and platinum in a metallurgic infuser. So we're going to need a bit of this. And we should have a fair bit of platinum and tons of gold. Now usually you would throw the catalyst for this recipe in a in, in an enrichment chamber. So you would throw your catalyst in here and get this enriched gold and use that in the um, metallurgic infuser and that gives more more gold per. But for to start with we're just going to use simple ingots because we can. Oh, unless we can't. It doesn't have to be, uh, so it needs to be dust, dust or the enriched gold. Right, so I need to crush it first. Let's just see how far one goes. So it doesn't, right, is it, did I see 40? Yeah, so it's four. four. So doing it this way, this it's basically four, in, four ingots worth per one osmium. So you want to get your enrichment chamber up as soon as possible. Uh, I'm just going to make a few of these osmium like this so we can get going. Let's look at the enrichment chamber now and how expensive this is and see whether we can make that now. So not quite. We do need osmium. We need another steel casing, but we can do the rest. So that's just one osmium and uh, redstone. I need some redstone. That's that quest done. And we get another three osmium from the quest. So that, now it wants us to go to the osmium compressor from here, but I'm, I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to create the enrichment chamber next so we can utilize our metals better in the metallurgy confuser. So let's take that out. Um, I've got some enderium. So we should be able to create the casing and then need to put that back in there with, I think, probably four redstone, is it? It's 20 per. Yep, that's correct. That gets us those. So now we just need two iron. Right, so time to move this. So we can extend that way. And we shall put this over here with the other. So now when we were creating um, osmium, we can put the gold in here. Let's just do, oh, do we need dust again? Yeah, it needs to be dust in the enrichment chamber. Seems a bit, uh, bit pedantic, just having an extra process for the sake of it could put these together actually and then just ship them into here I guess and quick butchers at our power system see how it's doing so long as there is FE in some of these engines then that's all okay there's only that one there that seems to be low the rest have all got a decent amount of power in. So, as we were saying, one enriched gold makes 80 uh, millibuckets of this gold in the metallurgic infuser. 
and then one platinum ingot takes 40 so one enriched gold makes basically two osmium ingots so that should be 10 where's the platinum so yes when you get to this point here you really need to make in the enrichment chamber before we carry on going so osmium compressor requires infused alloys which is redstone and iron now we're going to need a lot of this redstone like this so let's pull a stack out and we'll pull a stack out of that as well and then in the enrichment chamber when this is done we will throw in half a stack of redstone dust to create the enriched redstone which will improve our throughput in the metallurgic infuser I'll put the second metallurgic infuser down here that we got from the quest reward so this one is doing redstone and iron um, to get the infused alloys and the rich chamber here is converting the redstone into enriched redstone so we get more from our redstone dust and then this one over here is continuing to do our platinum into osmium ingots so I'll come back when these have finished processing. So it's worth noting that these machines are quite slow in the processing, but they can be upgraded. And if you click this upgrade button up here, you'll see that they can have speed upgrades and energy upgrades. Now, whatever you do, do not put speed upgrades in before you put your energy upgrades in. Otherwise, the cost per run will absolutely skyrocket. And because we've already made a few of the basic components, we should be able to go ahead and put some energy upgrades in already. Um, now, I believe one machine takes a max of eight. So well, if I put all eight in here, it should use them all up in one go, and it has done. And we've now gone from requiring 20 FEA tick to two FEA tick. And if I pulverize... Um, can we not pulverize Os osmium? Oh wow. Okay, so how do we get osmium dust? We need to crush it. Oh, put in the enrichment chamber maybe? No. No, that's all blocks it needs. Right, so we don't have a recipe for pulverizing osmium that we can do to put the speed upgrades in. Oh, that's unfortunate. At this point, we need a crusher for that. Let's have a quick look and see if the crusher is available right now. Yep, we can do that. We can do that indeed. So to create these basic control circuits here, you just put um, the Osmium Minga in the metallurgic infuser with some redstone and that converts that over so I'll let this run so we've got all these infused alloys done and then I shall do a couple for this recipe here and I need two buckets of lava I don't know where I'm going to get lava from and we can put these energy upgrades in of this one here because we're going to be doing so I need six more for that one like that can have those and now we can make the crusher and that will allow us to crush some osmium oh wow that's a noisy machine because I've got the volume turned down there is a muffler upgrade that you can put in machines to shut them up So that's a bit of steel blend, but you might be able to shut them up using this muffler here. And if you click the recent, and then search for mechanism maybe. So what we're looking for here is um, the crusher. Ah, 
silence. That shuts it up. So once we have osmium dust, we can now create the speed upgrades. Um, need the more glass. Now you don't want as many speed upgrades as you put energy upgrades in. So if you look at this button here, um, when this machine's actually working, uh, which at the moment it's not, let's do some more of those basic circuits. You'll see that it says using 2FE a tick. If I was to put in here just two energy upgrade, uh, speed upgrades, we are now up to six FE a tick. And the machine is considerably quicker than what it was before. So keep in mind that this is going to go up as you put the speed upgrades in. So we are now back to using half of what we did originally. So you can get away with three speed upgrades. Uh, let's try four. See what that takes us to. So we're now we're back at, at using the 20 FE tick with sp four speed upgrades and eight energy upgrades. And as you can see there, that machine is quite considerably quicker. Now, this machine here only has, um, I think it was, was it two? Yeah. So, you only got two energy upgrades in there. So, if I, if I was to put the speed upgrades in here now, you'll see it's now using 35 FE a tick. So, keep in mind to keep the energy upgrades in there. Three, four, five, six. So if I put six in here, it sh that should mean that we are down to 20 FE. Or no, actually, be less, won't it? Um, because this one has four speed upgrades, eight energy. Yeah, so considerably quicker. Um, let's create two more speed upgrades um, need osmium for that uh, wrong machine to bring this one up to the same as the other one so that now has four and eight and you can do the same with all these machines so that's a good good um good amount of upgrades to keep in mind that using four speed and eight energy and that and that will allow you to maintain the 20 fe a tick when it's running and it'll be considerably quicker right then let's carry on with our quests now we've got that done so we need an osmium compressor now this has these infused alloys that we've been making but it has advanced control circuits uh, and that's just a simple craft now let's get rid of this storm. So we want two of those. Another steel casing. We can only make one more before we need more enderium. And that gives us the osmium compressor. We need our space to put these machines. And the recipe it wants to us to do for the osmium compressor is refined glowstone and refined obsidian. So refined obsidian is osmium with refined obsidian dust. Um, and the refined obsidian dust is made in the metallurgic infuser, crushing diamonds and obsidian dust. And then you put obsidian in the enrichment chamber to get the obsidian dust. So we need some obsidian dust. We need some diamonds. I think it was four per block, wasn't it? Yeah, so we don't need to do a full stack. So it's ten, ten diamond millibuckets um, to one obsidian dust. So again, you can put diamonds in there if you want to, uh, but that is going to only give you 10 per diamond, whereas enriching it should give you a lot more. 
Yep, gives you 80. So, again, make the enrichment chamber as soon as you can. And it'll probably be wise to speed this up as well. So we'll do that while we're waiting. Got gold dust. I just... Oh, I've got osmium dust as well. So, oh, I've only got eight of those. Probably need more of these, actually. Now we have four and eight. And our enrichment chamber is a lot faster now, and we're still using the 20 FE a tick. If power's not an option for you at this point, then by all means put more speed upgrades in and make them even faster. But uh, that's just to maintain the balance and speed the machine up. So it's 10 per obsidian dust. So let's have a look. One makes eight. So then another seven should make 64. Yeah. So... 640 should make a full stack of obsidian dust into refined obsidian dust. And the other one we need is refined glowstone. And that again is in the osmium compressor with osmium and just glowstone. Now, we are oh, yeah, making glowstone. Yeah, I just had a bad feeling for a minute that we, we didn't have any glowstone. Have we got loads? Yeah, we've got loads. Now, what do we need these for and how many do we need is the next question. So after that is done, we go on to the awakened essence. And so we need three for the awakening altar. And we're going to need eight pedestals probably. So that's another 16. And I'm not sure if we need, oh, there's another two there for the essence vessel and that's it so half a stack should do so osmium compressor in here put in your osmium and then uh, where did it go and it probably works out at one ingot per one processed although that looks like it's slightly over and that gives us our refined glowstone. So I'll put this back. We are going to need some more osmium. After this is done. Now refined obsidian has, or it used to have a dual purpose. I don't know whether it does in this pack or not. Let's have a quick look here. Yeah, you see you used refined obsidian in the metallurgy confuser to turn reinforced into atomic alloys so you might not want to convert all of this you want to keep some refined obsidian and the other thing is it used to have good tools and armor um yep durability 4096 so good for tools the armor's not bad either even look at that plus 12 armor plus 5 armor toughness and not back resistance so yeah good armor good tools if you're struggling for that sort of thing right we need this because we need to come make more of the obsidian so much quicker when once you get speed upgrades in these machines so to turn this into ingots we put it in the osmium compressor again with more osmium so we'll wait till this is done and then we'll swap over and do some of the um probably half a stack actually and then we'll do some of the refined obsidian as well in here while maintaining to make more osmium all right that's one quest done and you get an extra three ingots. So temporarily, let's take these out of here. And we'll put them in the osmium compressor just to speed them up. Yeah, it's much quicker, look. And that's that quest or chapter completed and now we are on to the uh, awakened essence chapter 
and as you can see it's actually come up up here so it requires awakened pedestals and essence vessels around it place the altar to see where the pedestals and vessels are placed the altar can be used to make high-end items wonder what you put in the vessels i've never actually used this before um the awakened altar i wonder if it's because these are multiple you put them in the vessel rather than actually in the um, pedestal itself because normally you wouldn't be able to fit 40 earth essence on, on one of the pedestals it would only accept one so maybe that's where the vessels come in uh, but what we, what we shall do is make the awakening uh, awakening altar first place it down and then we'll see exactly how many we need which we can actually do that now um i'm just wondering actually whether that was special wood it is oh it's all stone it's not wood it looks like wood um so we should be able to make this that's any cobblestone and soul dust and we make salt we've made soul dust so we've got loads of that so we want two initially uh which we need to furnace oh three we need three not two three Right, so that's the awakening altar. So let's have a look if we place this down in the world anywhere. Well, there's a bit of room. Oh, right, okay. So that makes more sense then. So we only need four of each. And I'm guessing the recipes that have some multiple, I'm betting you it goes in these things here. So yeah, that makes much more sense. So we need four of each, not um, not eight like I said before. Now I'm wondering, does this fit here? It does. For the time being, I shall put this right there. And I shall move this system over here. We do need this dust back um, somewhere close by. Might even move it back in this corner. Right, so that's the both of those. So let me just move this system off camera to over here. And then I shall be back. Um, let me just have a quick look at the Cognizant Dust. Um, mystical Agricultural Essences, these. How are these seeds made? So this is Air Ratio. And that's gravel, dirt, clay and glass bottles. That's easy enough for that one. Uh, was, that, was, was that the air one? Yeah. We also need earth, essence, seeds. And that is gravel, grass, dirt and clay. Grass, we don't have. Ooh. Okay, might have to come back to grass in a second. Um, water is easy enough. That's pretty straightforward. And then that leaves fire. Which again is easy enough. So the other problem there that we've got is the... Um, was not the water one, it was the earth one. And that is these... Um, is this grass i don't actually have any grass i'm just wondering if this guy here sells anything for grass seeds of any sort doesn't um i did see grass on one of the earlier quests that we never did and that might be all the way back at the beginning somewhere. Yeah, here. Right. So we need the summoning altar to get grass seeds. So if you're wondering how to do that, that's how. Summoning altar and then simply put the grass or seed grass on the summoning altar and you will get grass seeds. Uh, we do have a summoning altar, but I think it's right down below. 
it might even be in the other side actually thinking about it so it'll be easier just to create another summoning altar right so after i've done everything correctly that system should now be moved and fully functional the redstone flux is going in so we should see the sand is then going into there that gets split into the two dusts and then the dust gets pulled out to put into these two drawers so that's fine um, we can just have a quick look under here can we just leave that yeah we can right let's reposition this so it's more centrally um this this is even <laughs> so it's never going to be in the center so as you can see there there's there's going to be one out whichever way we look at it uh there looks fit for purpose i just need to get rid of this gravel which i don't think i can do oh i can't i'll go in there Right, so we keep our dust um, close by, which is what we need for this process. Oh, right, so we need to place these pedestals and uh, the infusion, what's its... These essence vessels. Hmm not quite sure how they work okay so i'm going to make some seeds we need to make another altar and get some grass seeds that's the summoning altar pretty straightforward oh do we have any poor transformation powder left oh no transformation powder that's no, easy enough done we've got all that it's not really a problem we've still got tons of stone and flint and what was the other thing? Dust. Yeah, got loads of it. So don't panic if you've took your system down and you get to this point and you think, oh no, no we haven't any that left. Not really a problem. Got loads, look. Don't know what you're talking about. So we can make that. We'll pop that just over here because I believe it's just seaweed that we put on there. And that gives us grass seeds. And I reckon we just plant them. Now, this, this never got used for anything. So I think what I'm going to do is I am going to convert this all to dirt. Um, no easy way of doing that, I don't think. Besides jumping around on it. Well, I suppose I could just pull it all up and replace it all, but where's the fun in that? Rather than waiting for that to spread, uh, we can simply just take loads of seagrass and convert that into more. And what we'll do for light, simply replace the water in the middle with a sea lantern. Hopefully that covers the whole of the block, which I've got F7 pressed, just to make sure it's working. Yep. So I need some bone meal now to get grass. Oh, we get three more there. And if you wish to go get animals, you can see from the quest that I've just closed that there are farm animal eggs or recipes. Now for bones, I'm pretty much take it, or bone meal, I mean, pretty much take it. We can take our bones from our mob farm and just pulverize them down. Should have loads in here. Yeah, absolutely bucket loads. Never did out with this. I noticed yesterday that we got redstone in here. 
that took an awful long time to get any redstone at all from the rob farm now whether something changed in an update that the witches now drop redstone by accident i don't know but we did actually get some yeah if you look there's this quest here for well cat sheep pig cow chicken and uh, wolf And then if you're looking for the spawn egg recipes, it tells you there to look in JEI for them. Don't think we're going to need much more than that. I'll leave those in there, then we can craft them manually. Uh, that can stay as grass. We didn't need that much actually, did we? Uh, this is for the uh, mystical agricultural seeds. And let's start with the earth one, which is what we needed these for. So we need four of these, so we only needed four grass. Four grass, four clay, four dirt. And of course, we are going to need our seeds. Oh, look at that. We've got exactly four. Uh, we're going to need some essence, which has been making in here. Let's take two of those and we can break that down backwards. And that should give us enough. So this particular seed is that, 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 yeah, that's fine. Now we have all four seeds we need to make the botany pots and drawers and of course the dirt to go with it which we can make some insane high-tech dirt because of our essence crafting probably insanium dirt if the seeds will work in it if it gives it a significant boost that is um do we have insanium dirt we do Uh, 1.35 times mm. against 1.3 probably put them in supremium dirt and we just need to make the botany pots now and we're going to put that over here because we need it for this system And once we get the essence come into the drawer, we can lock that in. And that will keep the seeds and uh, what else was the those two things? The seeder and the fertilizer, fertilized essence in the actual botany pot itself. Just after we've done this, so that can be locked. And that one. So they've all got similar growth. There we go, lovely. So that's our four essences that we need to create the cognizant dust this uh, we just need a lot of it 
So we need tertium essence and dust for the next stage. Um, I am going to create the same setup that we had over there with laser IO to automate this. So we can do that while we're waiting for the essences to build up. I'm going to need some more nodes though. See, we're going to need um, eight for the pedestals, one for the middle and one for a supply chest. We can't supply, we, well, can we supply direct? I don't know, I've never used these before, so I don't know if you can oversupply them. So if we put a stack of, say, the fire essence in here, will that be okay for uh, recipes that only require eight? Mm, maybe, maybe not. I don't know until we try it. For now, we're going to keep it nice and close and put it here. So same as before, we need to dig out all of these underneath these blocks. Hopefully not have pipes directly underneath. There is one there, but that's an energy pipe, so that's fine. And then one for the middle. So again, when you're placing these blocks down, don't place them against the pedestal, you put them on. Oh, you might actually not put them on because there's no recipe for them. That should be fine. Energy's not going to connect to it. And then you want one under the middle. And then we want one under the chest. Now, apart from the middle one, you can get to all the other ones from the top. So what we shall do is we shall take our laser wrench, uh, find the middle one, which is that one, which if we can't get to from the top, shift right click it so it's selected like that, and then right click the one that's under the chest and now these should be linked uh, might be easier to see from above should be a red line and there it is so we can now link all the rest easiest way to do this is to shift right click this one and then right click all the oh missed that one <laughs> and right click all the others And then put one under here. Uh, do we not have another one? How did I manage to... Oh, uh, yeah, it's alright, because it's because of the altar in the middle. Right, so they're all linked back to this one. Or should be. Yep. Right, so what we're going to need is we're going to need some cards. Now I've got a card holder in here somewhere. That's some way there. Do we have enough cards? We've got loads of item cards, but we are going to need some filters. And that's these basic filters here. So the first recipe, recipe that we're looking at here is the Cognizant. I don't think we're we'll doing any of the other ones, but you'll never know. So four of these have got tertium essence in. Now, when you're doing the filters, um, remember you can actually pull from JEI. So I can pull that from there to there. And then if I take four of these, these four here, I've got that in there already, and then these ones I can just remove it. So none of these have got the tertium essence in the middle. And then the other thing that we need is the mystical agricultural essence, and one for earth. And what we'll do is um, split out these cards. So there's the 
four for essences and then we want oops we want four for the um the the other essence so for these ones here just right click and we'll put that as to insert and let's see where have we got that is the I want to see first of all if if you overfill these will the recipe work right so that was that one so we want to insert that's the earth essence and then insert Uh, and then insert the water one and then these four here will be insert and they oh I actually need one for these uh, no I need four don't I um, that's not going to work is it no you have to split them up so if you wonder what I'm doing here, with the card holder in hand, you right click and then you right click again on the item card to open this interface. Um, I haven't found any way of going back to the card holder, so you just E and then go back in again. Then right click, insert. Right. So that's those done. What we need to do now is access the... Oh, we need one for the middle, don't we? Uh, which is just normal dust. I'm saying normal dust. It's this dust here. And that's for the one in the, that's in the middle underneath. Okay, that's for this one. So we'll do that one first and we can do the others from the top. So what you do is come underneath. Let's find the right one. So that's the one in the middle. Right click it and select the upside and put the item card in it and just to check that is the dust one we can do the others from the top i should should have been above water so we'll do the these ones first because these are easier uh, we want the item card that has the normal essence in i think it's that one yeah, it is so again you're looking at the line here should be going up it's not easy to tell when you're looking at it from that angle. It should be going up into the pedestal. If you're clicking on it, right clicking it from the top, it will automatically select the upside. And then for these ones, Again, same with the up. I don't know whether this is shapeless recipe or not. I need to keep that in mind if this doesn't work. And once done, we need an extract in the centre here. So we'll need to pull that out. And um, we're going to extract the cognizant dust. So I need a filter in that. I'm not sure if you need filters in this actually um because it might not let go of the um dust which is actually on there uh but we'll we'll use filters there's no reason why not to so that will extract the cognizant dust and we put that on a different channel so let's put that on channel five Again, this needs to go in the upside. 
and we need an insert on the chest on this chest here so we need just one card and insert on channel five and if we can get the top of it which we have that's the only thing that goes in there so we want to extract where these are inserting so we need an extract on channel four Yeah, and that's that. So if I take um, so the essences up here, isn't it? So let's just take let's take one insanium. Oh, let's take a few actually. Don't want to stick too much in here. So we need to break this backwards. So we get to tertium. I stick four stacks in there. It should only stick one each on these four. Shouldn't put anything in these because they're not filtered. And oh, we've got quite a lot. Look at that 56 of each just by setting this up. Um, one thing we are going to need is a redstone signal. So we need a redstone clock. And this redstone clock is to go against the awakening altar here to set it going so if i take these now and let's have a look at this now and see what happens right so it puts one at a time in and i can change that but i'm questioning on where's it and there's no indication of where oh right okay so it's filling it up with a liquid form by the looks of that or it just that's just how it puts in so if i change this extract to eight should fill them up a lot quicker right so we can see there from the tooltip it holds 40. that's the maximum it holds in one of these now if I put one dust in here, one of these dusts, does this recipe work or do we need the exact amounts in these? And the simple answer to that is we don't need the exact amounts. So that should be a cognizant dust, which should get extracted, put back in this chest. There we have it. Our first cognizant dust. So what we can do here is take a stack of this put it in here and that will continually make the cognizant dust and in fact we can pull direct from these now into this chest so let me make four more of the laser nodes and we can just simply insert on um channel five is it no we oh i'll figure it out in a minute and we need to link these to this system it doesn't have to be this one it's still selected as long as it's within range which it is so do we need an extract on channel five or four let's have a look yeah that's the correct one okay so we need to extract on channel five Oh, don't like these lines above. <laughs> so that should be putting the essences in here now, and they should be going straight into the essence vessels. And that now will continuously make the cognizant essences, so long as we've got a supply of tertium essence in here. 
So we'll have to keep an eye on that. And of course the dust needs to come from over here. Uh, I don't want to fill this chest up with dust. Uh, and it will fill up with dust. If I put this here, it should be within eight blocks. Even though I despise seeing these beams above the ground. Um, certainly within eight blocks of that, and because that is linked to that chest, that's fine. Two hours later. Right, so what I'm actually doing wrong here is the filter which is in um, in this this card here, this filter, this this is wrong. Uh, what we actually need is we need a counting filter. Um, so we need to make the observer, which is easy as pie. And uh, I don't have any dust on me, so let me just grab a stack of this dust. And what we do here is we put 64 like that in there. And then in this filter here, in this count filter, you still need the stock. You don't need that. You need that. That should put should put doesn't put uh, maybe we just do an insert like that does that stop at 64 is the question yes it does Okay, so ignore what I said before, we just have a normal insert with a counting filter and then stack of the dust on the channel that is selected for that over there. And that will keep 64 dust in this chest at all times and it won't fill up the chest with all those 10,000 dust that's, oops, that's, that's in here. So that there is fully automated. Apart from we need to manually insert the tertium essence every now and again. Um, we can go ahead and actually convert all this Imperium into it. So let's go back to the quest line and see where we are. So to get the cognizant automatic or organic matter, we're probably going to need to dunk this in the organic fluid. And that requires a block of refined obsidian. Did we make enough? We did. So that's that. That will make the organic matter, which we then can sieve and get all these items should we so need to. Now the question is, do we need to? This is a most definite, the creative organic spore. We're, we're going to definitely need that. So yeah, we are going to need to. Um, I don't believe there's any other way of making that. And the creative organic spore is used to create this creative organic matter later on. Um, so, yeah. We are we are definitely going to need that. Um, let's just have a quick look down here. Wow, that is so expensive. <sighs> Hmm. And what is this used for? That that creates the awakened supremium essence. Um let's look at the quest line. So we make that to make the essence to make the ingot and gemstone to make the nuggets to make the creative essence. And the creative essence is used to make the creative organic matter, which is then sieved to create this creative waste, which then goes into this process, I believe, to eventually create this antimatter, which is then processed into pellets.
which is used to make the antimatter circuit tier 4, which is then used to make the antimatter core, which is the end game item you need to complete the pack. Yeah, antimatter core. Look, you need four of those. So that's where we're heading. <laughs> but this, we're going to need so much more of of these essences way 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 more and we're going to need a separate setup um hmm. right okay so we'll, we'll let these run through and they will give us extra seeds save us creating all that mess we've already got two water seeds there and we've also got two fire seeds so we'll let that run for a while uh, we can let that run out of tertium essence. In the meantime, we're going to need a lot more of the insanium essence. So I think what I'll do short term is these botany pots here. Let's get insanium dirt in those. There's seven of them, isn't there? And that will speed these ones up. In fact, we might as well um, just make another row of them. We've got enough seeds. I bet one of these has got enough seeds in. Yeah, it has. So if I back to back these. And we put more in, um, essence seeds in. I need five more dirt. Oh, we need botany pots. I'll create some more botany pots um, off camera because we've done all this before. So, let's grab some of the inferior essence seeds. And what we'll do is plant these all the way down here. And then same as before, we need to lock the essence in these drawers. And then what we can do then is just hook them up to the existing pipe network. Now this bit is is an actual pipe network as you can see there. And then wrench all these so they are on extracts. So they will be extracted over to this storage drawer here, which in turn are then pulled into this crafter and crafted in here. Um, we, we could actually just pull them straight into this crafter, but um, that's a backup storage really. Uh, and that should improve the amount of insanium essence that we get, but we're going to have to do a lot of AFK in to get the amount of insanium essence that we need uh, and I'm not sure how much more quality recording content that would make um, because we're literally waiting on systems I mean if we had like farms and farms of these then yeah but that's not really how I work it's not really how I do things in Minecraft it's not to create like a, a bazillion rows of um, inferium seeds just to create the right you know 
the right amount. It seems a little bit grindy uh, to finish off the pack, but we'll get there. Let's go back to the quest and see where we're at. So we're at this stage here. Um, let's just have a quick look at the cognizant organic matter. As I said, we need um, en the ender organic matter in a barrel to transform it. Um, do we have a spare barrel? We do. Doesn't need to be a lava proof one. Wooden one should do nicely. Find where our ender organic matter is. It's just here. So let's go here. Um, is that a fluid pipe? It is. Uh, again, it's not really an issue because we're going to put that block down. Put barrel on top. And then we need fluid pipes and probably a filter wouldn't go amiss with this, just in case we put the wrong fluid in. So let's have a look. I can't, it's a shame you can't put that in before you have to set this to extract. Um, let's just break that and set that to extract and then I can put the filter in. Right, okay. So with this... We want to add the endo-organic fluid, that's fine. And then I can put that bucket in there, so I've not got an extra bucket laying around. That should then transform to cognizant, so I can now rinse that back. So that will only pull the endo fluid in. So if this ever empties out, we can't pull the wrong fluid across. They should, by rights, all our filters in. Yeah, that does. And that does. And then the others do, I know they do. Right, so what do we do with this? We make the cognizant organic matter just by using the cognizant dust on it. We could actually do this recipe rather than using a bucket at a time like this. Um, do we have a... we've probably got a fluid encapsulator in this bit here. Is that that's it there? No, it's pyrolyzer. Fluid encapsulator. So let's take you along with a fluid pipe. We do have power in over that side. And rather than use this click machine, which is going to get picked up, we don't actually need this now. We were to put the fluid encapsulator down. Let's just change this. So that's input. Will it pull from the barrel? It will. Now, that gives us a slight problem. Because should this empty, it will pull the endo-organic fluid in. So even though this works, we can't filter it like this. There's no way to put a filter in here. So let me get that to a round figure and stop that from pulling in. And rather than waste all this, we'll put the cognizant dust in. Wow, that's a quick one. So what we'll do is we'll pipe it. And then um, we can put a filter in so it doesn't pull the wrong fluid into the fluid encapsulator. Right, so that's got all the fluid in out of it used. Um, we should have power somewhere. There's power there. So it should be fine just to use a single pipe. So let's just disconnect that side. And then I can wrench this. Put the filter in and add a bucket of the cognizant fluid into this filter. Don't forget to click submit people. We can hook up the power to the back. And then we can just output into a storage drawer this side because it's only one item. And then we just need to manually fill. Oh, we need to set that to auto output. 
I know we can unlock that in. And that gives us more per cogniz uh, cognizant organic fluid per dust. Doing it um, this way, you're using one dust per one bucket. Doing it this way, you're using one dust per a quarter of a bucket. So if you look at the recipe in here, it doesn't actually say a, a bucket, but trust me, it's a bucket. But in here, it's only 250 millibuckets. So that's a quarter of a bucket doing this, this method. So much more efficient. And then we take the cognizant organic matter and we filter, uh, we sieve it. Now, I'm not going to do that just yet, because if we did, we'd end up with all these pieces in our system over there, which is one of the reasons why I added all those extra drawers. But I took down <laughs> the system for crafting them, this system up here. Now, while that's okay, that system is actually quite old and outdated, and there's a better way of crafting them now. But I'm just wondering if what else we get. Now, a lot of these we've already got drawers for. There's only that, I think, that's new. Obviously, all the, all the pieces, all the metal pieces are going to be new in our drawer system, apart from the gold one, which is already over there. But I believe we have the enderpearl fragments. We don't have a drawer over there for them. So we should be okay to go ahead and put this into the one with the netherite meshing. Where's that gone? That's that one. Now these are not automatically pulled out. So what I'm going to do here is this, this one here is automatically pulled out. So I'm just going to disconnect that and I'm going to borrow this netherite mesh, put it in here. So if I put that in there now, that should process, drop into that chest, and the whole lot should then end up in drawers over there. Depending on what we get out of it. And there it goes. And wow, did that fill them up. So, let's do a bit of rearranging here. Right, and of course we need to lock all these in. So let's, um, I'll not do an unlock and a relock because... That will break some of these that are empty. So they can all be locked in. That doesn't need to be locked in. So do we have... We've got a double somewhere. Is it that one? Yeah. So we had one empty that was up here, if you remember. So let's have this one as the empty one. So we've got all the pieces together there, and why? Oh no, that was right. It was that one, wasn't it? That going there. Stop going in there. Let's just make sure we cover the quest. That's that dead end there. So, is this block used for anything else? No, just sieving. Right. So now we've got duplicates with this lot over here. Um, some of these are empty, but some aren't. Uh, these are left leftover bits um, that we had, which I can now remove. The enderpearl fragments, we need to get some sort of auto-crafting with those uh, and get those sorted into enderpearls and stored. This system now is a bit messy because a lot of what we're doing here is no longer needed. Just here. So this one's got a hell of a lot of upgrades in it. So I can lock that drawer, actually. Um, I need to leave that one in. 
because those uh, silver and gold pieces still be made from that system there. You can still see the transformation of the um, stuff is still going on. But that's going to be everything for episode 14. I shall catch you next time, and bye for now.